Right out tubers, uh, welcome back. This is version 2 of the little breakout board. Now there's a couple of key things I missed. Yes, so we turn this on. Does that turn on? So the red light is when it turns on. It's got a little power button here. It's got a green light beside it. Fan kicks in. Of course you cannot see that. Now what I have done today is I've actually hooked a load up to it and I've got my little thermal camera set up here poor lighting and all right yeah turn that on right yeah so now that turns on and I can actually get that to power this little board and it's pulling 15.6 amps and the voltage is 11.6 volts so we have a look on this multimeter here 11.9 it's saying 11.6 uh, get bearing in mind we've got different cable lengths and stuff like that so there's a decent voltage drop we'll turn this off as a load come on this will be like the USB from yesterday there we go put that back on there we got 12.17 volt so it does drop half a volt or something like that Hey, right, we got the thermal camera set up. Uh, we shall actually set it to record. Video. Plug that in. Wait for the fan to kick on. There we go. We have got 15 point. I think we can go to 16. There you go, 16.4. Nope, it dropped out. There we go, it's doing uh, 16.2 amps. Now if we come back over to the FLIR camera, we can see it's starting to get a little bit warm. Current doing 16, 16.2 amps. And we've only, we're only one minute and 44 seconds in, and it's already at 50 degrees, and you can see uh, clearly on the pins there, you're getting very hot very quick. So that's just over 50 degrees. We'll grab the clamp meter, which is without a doubt my favorite tool. And it is also showing 16 amps, 15.92. Not bad. Close enough. I can definitely feel a lot of heat coming off that. And heat coming off that already. We're at 58 degrees and 2 minutes and 20 seconds in. We'll see if we can move this camera around a little bit to get a slightly higher temperature. Gosh, this is always fun, isn't it? There you go, so we're at 70 degrees. So it's that track on the motherboard you can see there. Where the positive is coming in, that's the one that's getting really, really hot. We're at 70 degrees, we're at 3 minutes. So I'm going to put it out there that saying 16 amps is going to be way too much. Now they did say it was capable, someone linked me to something saying it was capable of doing 15 amps or something like that. I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and check. But let's turn it back down a bit. There we go. So she's just at 5 amps there. And that's dropped back down to 40, was that 43 degrees Celsius. So a five, I'd say a 5 amp draw would be about what you'd want to be putting through this on a single channel. Obviously each channel have a different amperage because of the, the load sharing between the cables, but there we go, tubers. I hope that answers a couple more questions. It gets me another video live. I'll see you on the next one.